Hey Dr. Rob, we have your car up here on the hoist and um, just want to show you what's going on. The AC compressor is, uh, the clutch is bad and it's, it's broken, it burned up and it came apart, which is that rattling noise you were hearing when the engine was running. So um, we, we determined that you need a new AC compressor. This compressor is old um, and if we don't, if, if we just try and change the clutch on these compressors, what happens is the compressor starts to leak oil. Um, within a few months if possibly in the front seal. So we're just going to recommend replacing the whole compressor and putting a new unit on. New units generally last um, five to seven years whereas rebuilt units only last uh, one to three years. So we're recommending that you go ahead and put a new AC compressor on here. The other thing we want to show you on the car is that the tie rod boots are starting to crack and break apart. You can see the tie rod boot right here on this uh, tie rod is broken. Um, we're going to recommend that you go ahead and change the, the left side tie rod assembly because this uh, rubber boot on the on the left side uh, inner tie rod is starting to break apart. Um, although this one on this side is okay, the rubber on this outer tie rod on the left side is is starting to get dry, and it'll only be a matter of time before it starts to do the same thing as the inner tie rod. Um, the, the right side tie rod boot on the outer side is also coming apart and is broken so we're going to recommend changing the right side tie rod assembly as well um, although the inner tie rod boot is somewhat in good shape um, you should just do all the tie rods at the same time it's kind of like cha changing a pair of shoes you don't just change one shoe you change both shoes at the same time we're going to go now and show you a fuel leak that's happening under the car the next thing we're going to show you dr rob is that there is a fuel leak going on under under the car this, these are the fuel pumps for your car, and you can see that there's been a fuel leak happening for quite some time. You can see gas residue on the bottom of this fuel pump. Gasoline kind of leaves like a brownish residue uh, when it's been happening for a while. And you can see under the fuel dampener, there's also some brown, uh, brown fuel residue left over. And where the fuel leak is coming from is this, this fuel hose right here. It's a three-way fuel hose that goes from the uh, fuel dampener to uh, a fuel feed line at the very top and this fuel hose is leaking gas. We're going to recommend that you change this fuel hose. Um, there's there's a, a crack in the hose right there where my finger is and it's a three-way fuel hose that goes from the fuel feed line to the fuel dampener to the fuel accumulator so this hose needs to be replaced otherwise you'll be losing gas and since it's already got a crack in it right there uh, it's only a matter of time before this fuel hose ruptures and causes a bigger leak. The next thing I want to show you, Dr. Rob, is that your, your windshield wipers on your car are worn out. I'm going to recommend that you change the windshield wiper blade inserts. We have to disassemble these blades and put new wiper inserts in. The, the right side wiper blade is, is broken and also the, the driver's side wiper blade is also broken. So we're going to recommend changing both windshield wiper blade inserts.